So here's a mindfulness task or mindfulness exercise that can be lots and lots of fun, but can also be quite stressful and challenging at the same time for some people. What I'm going to be asking you to do is to draw a picture with your eyes shut, so without looking. Of course you can cheat, that doesn't matter to me. But it, of course you can cheat, it, it really doesn't matter. But there's no reason to, the idea is to, to be mindful with your eyes closed. Right? Perfectionists will find it really difficult. They will keep wanting to see that they have drawn something correctly. It really doesn't matter. That's not the, the goal of this mindfulness. It's just being about being aware of the messages going from your brain to your hand when you can't see something. So the way we're going to do it is I'm going to give you elements of the picture to draw bit by bit. So do you have your piece of paper and pencil or pen ready? And something to lean on? If you need to, um, or if you want to, if you have something to lean on, you can actually hold the, the paper on the top of your head. So you can keep your eyes open, but draw at the same time, and then you can't see what you're drawing. Otherwise, just put the paper in front of you on a table or on a book on your lap and close your eyes. So let's start with holding the paper landscape. Right. In the center of the picture, could you please draw a farmhouse? Whatever that looks like for you. And I'm not going to give you very long to draw each of these elements. Just as quickly as you can, get it down on paper. So this is just a farmhouse in the middle of the picture. Make sure you've put a couple of windows and the front door. And you'll definitely need a chimney and some smoke coming out of it. So once you've done that, uh, down in the right hand corner, right down in the corner, is the mailbox. So if you'd like to draw the mailbox sitting on a fence post and from the mailbox oh, we need to put a path in that runs from the mailbox to the front door of the farmhouse. So give that a go. Oh, before you do too much more, you need to write the number on the mailbox. So you choose a number, what number house it is. Okay. Now, oh, draw the sun up in the sky, wherever you'd like to draw that. And next to the house on the left hand side of the paper, is the vegetable garden. So we'll start with a row of lettuce. And behind that, mm, Behind the lettuce, let's put a corn plant. And on the other side of the garden is a tomato plant with some big juicy tomatoes on it.
And of course, we couldn't have a garden on a farm without a sunflower. Put some clouds up in the sky and a couple of birds. And what we'll need is a scarecrow in that veggie garden as well, won't we? So you decide where you're going to put that one. Remembering to keep your eyes closed the whole time, if you can. Make sure the scarecrow's got a hat on. Got to be sun safe. Now down in the left hand corner on the left hand side of the page we need to draw a big telegraph pole with the wires going from the telegraph pole to the house. Now on the side of the house, on the same side as the veggie garden, could you put a tap? And we'll also need a watering can so that we can water the vegetable garden. Up in the sky, there's also a plane, way up high. And it looks like someone has parachuted out of the plane. So let's draw in that parachutist. Slowly floating down to earth. And we'll need to have a bike, a bicycle propped up against the front of the house where one of the kids has left it. And what would a farm be without some farm animals wandering around? We've got a pig on the right hand side of the house. And a couple of chooks 
wandering along the front of the yard. In the distance, there's a couple of hills. And on the right hand side of the house, the last thing to draw is an apple tree. When you've finished your drawing, open your eyes and have a look at it. Can you recognize everything? Did you draw everything on the page where you thought you had? Sometimes when I do it, I end up drawing everything in the middle of the page, even though it feels like I'm spacing everything out and using up the whole page. Sometimes I surprise myself about how well I have actually drawn something. Has that happened for you? Have a little laugh over it and think to yourself, that was just over 12 minutes that you spent not worrying about anything other than what your hand was doing, how your hand was moving a pencil or a pen around a piece of paper. Well done. You managed to get away from the worries for a good 10 plus minutes. Well done. And you possibly, hopefully, had fun at the same time. <laughs>